I'm folding. All right. So, um, well, today I'd like to share with you the results of a research that's taken place in Spain in three different schools, and it um, uh, it was about the benefits and importance of taking English exams. Um, well, so. Um, uh, the content. So I'm going to talk about the. Um, sorry, I don't see my slides. I don't have to change that. Yeah, sorry. So, um, well, I'm going to talk about the expected impacts and the unexpected impacts of, of the research. Um, again, clicking. Okay, so uh, you might be asking yourself as teachers and professionals in this uh, area, like why my students need to, uh, to take English exams and what is the most suitable as all examinations since uh, we've got quite a few providers of internationally recognized English exams, right, on the market. And um, questions like what, uh, what changes are necessary to happen in my teaching practice, in the school practice. And finally, what is in it for me as, a, as an English teacher? So, this research uh, has revealed um, the following expected impact. So, let's go through them. Well, first, firstly, I'd like to mention that uh, it's been noticed that the motivation and the attitude to studies have increased uh, because of the introductions of soul exams in the, in the school practice. Um, well, the research has revealed that students um, see it as an extra goal to work towards. So, uh, like in fact, 100% of students believe uh, that thing that it helps them in their future career. Uh, it's good for their uh, to finding uh, to landing a better job. Uh, while 80% of teachers agree that the students are more motivated when they have that uh, exam bear looming at the end of the year, so they want to, uh, they need to prepare, to be better prepared for that. Um, yes, um, so uh, another a positive outcome that, uh, that's basically in this in the increase in motivation is that um, over the time, um, it's been noticed that the siblings in the family become more competitive about um, English exams, so, so sometimes they approach a teacher and they say, can I also take a mock exam, okay? Um, also, the exams are seen and perceived by teachers and students as a, as a thing, as a part of everyday life of the school. Um, okay, the next, uh, the uh, important impact number two, the increase in self-awareness of students. Um, so, they see uh, particular problems in, uh, in their language learning and they want to resolve them. So, they say, um, I've got a bad mark in listening, what can I do about it? Okay, they're also more aware of their strengths and weaknesses and they, they feel they're more autonomous and they take control. And in fact, the research has revealed that 95% of students agreed that the tests help them to understand their progress. So, I have a little story to tell you about the rocks and stuff. So, look at this picture. I've taken this picture last October when I, um, I had the privilege to welcome a group of uh, children from an orphanage in uh, Russia uh, who are also rock climbers. Uh, they've been taking part in different tournaments in, um, in Russia and in Europe. So here we are on our way to go rock climbing in Cyprus. Um, so um, I thought, like, look at this rock, right? For me, it's just a scary, a big scary rock. But for these kids, it's like an opportunity to climb to the summit. So they look, uh, usually the rocks, um, uh, the plan, planning and developed, and they're separated in different routes, as you can see in the picture. So we've got different routes that are named uh, with funny and sometimes ironical names. Uh, people with sense of humor go rock climbing, I guess. 
and also next to it you can see um, numbers and letters. So, for example, 5A or 5B and C correspond to a relatively easy way to go to climb a mountain, while 7 and especially 8 are only for professionals. So, um, when rock climbers go climbing, they basically uh, they, if they see um, which is a, a rock which is um, like they've never climbed before, they know that using the plan, they are sure that using that particular route, they can go climb to the top. And when they want to check um, if they've, uh, you know, after practicing, they have improved their skills, they can try a higher level and see their progress in this way. So. I like to believe that this is like within the exams. It's um, when you take um, an exam of a higher level, like upper intermediate, upper and intermediate exam, you you know that your English uh, has improved. So, uh, so you can see them uh, climbing. You can see them climbing. So these are the pictures we've taken. There. Um, they go up a mountain, they're fearless, they know they can achieve it, and it definitely creates an effect and impact of success and confidence, builds their confidence, something that all the kids need anyway. Um, well, so a third important impact is that it's increasing self-awareness of parents. So the parents are also aware of their children's um, strengths and weaknesses in English and what is more they know um, they receive information and they are aware of the levels of difficulty uh, in of the ESOL examinations and they also see it as an advantage for uh, the future career of the children again in fact according to the research um, over 80 percent of parents agree that their child is more motivated to study if uh, Enons has got an English exam in the year. Okay, um, now as for the unexpected, um, unexpected uh, impacts of exams, well firstly I'd like to mention that um, the uh, introduction of ESOL examinations in, improves the teaching practice. Uh, the exams um, usually highlight where the school needs to focus. It's improving and it's uh, introducing strategies for exam taking. For example, um, teachers uh, introduce strategies, strategies that don't get stuck on a question. And um, what is more, um, it's been noticed that the introduction of communication activities um, has, been, uh, um, has been more and more gets gaining momentum. Well, um, next is their self-development for teachers as another impact of the ESOL examination. Teachers don't want to be uh, behind their peers. They say, we see others doing things and we don't want to be behind, okay? And they see it also as an opportunity. They see where they need to improve, uh, which is also a positive outcome. Well, also, um, amazingly, it's you know, proved that uh, the students Proficiency uh, has has increased as a result of the ESOL uh, examinations, uh, and the biggest improvement was in the oral skills. Uh, well, also 80% of teachers uh, attribute this improvement uh, to the exams. Um, so, um, the last of the unexpected outcomes was the um, benefits for the school. Um, the ESOL examinations. Um, make uh, visible the school's efforts for improvement. It's um, the fact that the school uh, gained uh, status of the uh, English Examination Center proves it's clear evidence to parents that the school is improving. It's trying to uh, protect their methods and ways and teachers and everything. And it's also being an English exam center is, uh, is um, viewed as uh, the school is viewed as an organization with international reputation. So on this slide, I've got a small, um, I've got a, a certificate issued to Delta School in Greece, um, which is our, one of our partners. So um, 
uh, well, I found these results uh, amazing, and we need to be always to be reminded um, that ESOL examinations should be a part of life. They are, they are the fact that students are in, uh, exposed to exams taking relieves uh, their stress and make it more common uh, for students to take. So, uh, I work uh, at Equal in collaboration with LRN, which is an international. Um, it's a British national award organization that uh, provides internationally recognized English exams. We've been working in Russian market, in uh, Kazakhstan, in Czech Republic, Poland, UK, Greece, Cyprus, and other countries. So uh, if you want to get in touch with me about the possibility of collaboration or anything else, please contact me on lrm at stickwalls.net uh, and on the phone. So thank you very much.